Assalamu alaikum students how are you i hope you all are fine today we are going to do our next pages page number 130 plus page number 131 here we have length students do you remember what is length let me tell you length means how long something is it is used to make sure everything is just the right size students measuring curved lines students do you know what is curved line let me tell you curved students a curve is a continuous and smooth following line without any sharp corner a curved is the one that is not straight and is bent students here we have the statement to measure a curved line you need a piece of string or ribbon students here we have string we are going to use this to measuring a curved line use water to dampen it first students if we use water and wet the string that will harmful for our book so we are going to use it dryly here we have a string and a fish with curved line here we have point a place your string along the curved line you want to measure you want to measure a fish with the help of string you have to place your string along with the curved line you want to measure point 2 cut the string when it reaches the end of the curved line when we are going to measure something we put a string or scale at the first edge of the thing then we go for the second part or edge of the thing then here we are going to cut the string point 3 measure the string against your scale students here we have a scale when we cut the string we will measure this cutting part of the string with the help of scale the length of string tells you the length of the curved line students we are going to measure the curved line with the help of string string help us to measure these curved lines first of all we will place a string along the curved line then we will measure this object or things from first edge to the last edge then we will cut this string and measure the part of string against the scale then the length of the strings tells you the length of the curved lines students go for the next page here we have page number 131 length measuring curved lines and here we have question number 1 use a piece of string to measure the ribbons write the length of the ribbons in the box so here we have some ribbons and we are going to measure these curved ribbons with the help of string when we complete our measuring we will cut the string with the help of scissor after this we will measure this part of string with the help of scale so we are going to start our work here we have point a at point a here we have a curved ribbon we are going to measure it with the help of string students we are going to put this edge at the start of the ribbon from here and we are going to measure it like this this and this we start our measuring here then we will cut our ribbon from here with the help of scissor
Now we are going to measure this part of string at scale. So we are going to put our edge of the string at the first line with the number 0 and we came at the number 10. We came at the number 10. So students, Sarah's ribbon is 10 centimeter long. We are going to write 10 in the box. Go for the next one. Here we have a ribbon and we are going to measure it with the help of this part of string. We are going to put the edge of the string at this part of the ribbon and measure it. Students, we complete our measuring. Students, then we will cut our string from here with the help of scissor. Then we will measure this part of string at scale. And we are going to put the edge of the string at first line with the number 0 and we came at the number 7. So, Amina's ribbon is 7 cm long go for the next one here we have point c at point c here we have a curved ribbon and we are going to measure it with the help of string we are going to put our first edge of the string at the first part of the ribbon and move with the ribbon and here here we complete our mirroring and we are going to cut our string with the help of scissor. Then we will mirror this part of string at scale. We are going to put the edge of the string at the first line with the number 0 of the scale. And we complete our mirroring at number 15. Students, number 15. Asma's ribbon is 15 cm long. We are going to write 1515 in the box. Go for the next one. Here we have point D and a ribbon. We are going to measure it with the help of string. We are going to put the edge of the string here and move to the last edge of the ribbon. We complete our measuring and we are going to cut a ribbon from here. With the help of scissor, then we will measure this part of string at scale. We will put the edge of the string at first line with the number 0 and we came at the number 11. So, Sabah's ribbon is 11 cm long. Students, we complete our today's work. You have to do it in neat way. Stay at your home. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Allah Hafiz.